lovely night. I see you all having a few little drinks here. Little cheeky vodka. You've definitely had a little f Definitely, definitely. I'm only speaking out of jealousy, you see. I can't do it anymore. I had to go and get all greedy with the drugs, didn't I? Apparently, when you're doing cocaine every day of the week, it's an addiction, not a hobby. You better that in mind. Yeah, so it's been six years now. No beer, no gear. Sarcasm, sarcasm. Yeah, so six years, no beer, no gear. That definitely sounds like a party invite you'd swerve, don't it? So I'm going to regale you with just one story tonight about why I knocked it all on the head anyway. I'm sure you'll agree, I'm better off. So it was a Saturday night, many moons ago. I was out on the sesh, on the wreck, on a bender. Easy, easy. We was off out, we was off out. I was full of unpure cocaine and off-brand rum. I was slabbered in dupe and styled with wet look gel. <laughs> I did say it was many moons ago, didn't I? Yeah, so we're out. We're cutting a few rugs and snorting a few drugs. Comedy and rap, I know, mate. I'll fucking do it all I do. It all. Yeah, so we're out. We're out. I'm shattered after a night of endangering single mother's sexual health. I've crept home with the grace of Igor avoiding the sun. No, master, do not look. So I'm back. I'm home. I'm high. And I'm horny. Mad combination that is, mate. Mad, mad. And I'm stalking my next victim, my daughter's mum, who I lived with at the time. I'm single now, you believe that? So I creep under the bedroom door like a sexy smoke, more like the stink lines off Pepe Le Pew, but we'll differ, we'll differ. And I've put on her all the best moves, all of them, mate. Bear this in mind later, right? She sent me back under the door, flaccid and scorned. So, I'm wondering, how can I top a night that started with such high hopes? Such high hopes of booze, drugs, sexual gratification. See when I put it like that? Why did I ever fucking stop, mate? <laughs> yeah, so then it's hit me like a sexy ton of bricks. Babe, station, station, station. <laughs> Now, some of you might never have seen this channel. Definitely have, mate. Definitely. <laughs> now, you imagine QVC for wankers, right? <laughs> but, but I'm different. I'm different, mate. I really am. And she's going to clock this. And she's going to be like, listen, babe. I'll call you back. You save the money for the wedding. And I'm going to save her from showing her feet to perverts, like. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it. I'm in. I'm phoning. I'm fucking doing it. I can meet the future wife. How can I make this night just... I oh, know. Oh, oh, oh. Trousers are down. All the way down. Treat her with the respect she deserves. I oh, know. A drink. And one for the lady too. <laughs> so I'm back. I'm doing it. I'm fucking phoning her. I'm in. I'm phoning. I'm, I'm waking up, what the fuck, you know? The sun's bursting through the curtains like a dawn raid. There's rum and cocaine on the floor like a Barrymore party. <laughs> the shame's creeping up on me like old age. My cock's out, what the fuck, you know? The TV's telling me Babe Station will be back at 10 o'clock. You know what time it starts, mate. <laughs> I notice the phone. Fuck. <laughs> Are you back with us, big boy? <laughs> Three hours and ten minutes of me asleep. Did she think I had a snoring fetish? <laughs> and she's a liar, fucking big boy. <laughs> so, three hours, ten minutes, at one pound fifty a minute. Oh. Any Carol Vordermans in? No? no? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I fucking know how much it was. <laughs> Three hours, ten minutes, that's 190 minutes. At one pound fifty a minute, that's carry the two. <laughs> the three. It's fucking expensive anyway. 
and I didn't even come. <laughs> but if I could just add a little, a little nugget of shame, the last little zhuzh of embarrassment to this story. That phone bill was registered in my mother's name. <laughs> thank you, thank you.